Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we're learning a new, more advanced method for counting the beat while reading rhythms. Once you know this more advanced method, you'll be ready for today's rhythm challenge. So let's come to the heartbeat mat to get started. You're already familiar with the fact that quarter notes each take up one full beat. Ta, 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 ta. But eighth notes can fit two inside one beat. They share the beat. T, 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 T. Now, let's learn a more advanced method for counting the beat called counting a subdivided beat. In music, subdividing a beat means to split it into equal parts. For example, eighth notes subdivide a beat in two equal parts. And sixteenth notes subdivide a beat into four equal parts. Well, today we're going to subdivide each beat into two equal parts, like this. Let's also give ourselves a 4-4 four, four time signature, which means we'll count each beat up to four, then we'll need a bar line. And then we count again starting at one. So before we would count the beats like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But now that we're subdividing the beat, we're going to call the first half of the beat by the beat number one, and then the second half of the beat, we're going to say and for each second half, like this, one and two and three and four and. Can you try that with me? Let's point to each beat and we'll say the beat number when we're on the first half of the beat and then we'll say and for the other half. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and. Correct. Now, let's try counting the subdivided beat while we clap this rhythm. You'll notice that I replaced the bar line here with a repeat sign, which means once we get done with beat four, we'll go back to beat one and do it one more time. Let me demonstrate what this would sound like once. While counting the beat out loud, we clap. One and two and three and four and one and two two, and three, and four, and. Now, will you try it with me? Clap while you count the subdivided beat out loud. Ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Great, let's try another one. Okay, I'll demonstrate it once and then you can try it with me. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Ready to try it with me? Good. This time, to cue us when to start, I'm going to use our time signature. Since we have four beats, I'll count one and two and three and four and and then we begin. In fact, why don't you count it with me? So we call that an empty measure that we count before we begin. Here's the empty measure. Count it with me. Go. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Good. You're counting a subdivided beat. Let's try another one. This time we have a half note. Remember, half notes take up two full beats. So with our subdivided beat, it would take up one and two and, and then we keep going on three and four and. A quarter note takes up the first half of a beat and the second half of a beat. It takes up the four and the and. I'll try it once by myself, then you can join me. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now try it with me. Count our empty measure and then we start. Go. One and two and three and four. Go. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four 
and. Great. Now here's a new one for you. Remember that when we draw two eighth notes with flags, it makes the exact same sound as if we were to draw them this way. Two eighth notes with a beam, two eighth notes with a flag. They sound identical. T, T, or one and. So this rhythm would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. When you have a rest and you're counting the beat, you still count it. Remember, this beat is still there. Two and. There just happens to be silence during that beat. So we won't clap, but we'll still count the beat to show that it's still taking up time in the music. So count out loud with me while we clap. Here's the empty measure. Ready, go. One and two and three and four, go. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Now let's add a new kind of rest. It's called an eighth rest and it looks like this. It takes up half of a beat just like an eighth note does. In fact, if you were to add two eighth rests together, it would equal a quarter rest. So this quarter rest makes the same sound as two eighth rests, a full beat of silence. For fun, let's change our time signature now to two four, which tells us we'll have two quarter note beats in each measure, which means we'll need another bar line here and here. Now let's try clapping some rhythms using eighth rests. Here's a rhythm made up of all eighth rests and eighth notes. So every rhythm that you see takes up exactly half of a beat. We have the one and the and of one, the two and the and of two, the three, the and of three, the four, the and of four. This rhythm would sound like this, one and two and one and two and. Remember, whenever you have a bar line, that's a signal that the next beat will be one. We only have two beats in each measure. Now, I didn't do the repeat sign, but when we do it together, we'll take the repeat. Okay, let's try it together now. We'll count an empty measure of one and two and, since we're in two four, and then we begin. Try it with me. Count out loud and clap. Here's the empty measure. Ready? Go. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. Great job. Now here's a new rhythm for you. Now you'll notice in every beat we have a rest on the first half of the beat, an eighth rest I should say, then on the second half of the beat we have an eighth note. So it will sound like this, one and two and, one and, two and. We call this kind of rhythm a syncopation. Syncopation is when you have notes occurring primarily on the second half of the beat, or what we're calling the and of the beat. Now count the empty measure with me and let's try it. Ready, go. One and two and one and two and one and two and and one, and two, and one, and two, and. Great job. All right, let's try this rhythm. What happened? That's right. All the eighth rests and notes have traded places. Now we have the note on the number part of the beat, and the rest is happening on the and. Let's try it. Go ahead and try it with me. We're going to count the empty measure and then clap and count. Ready, go, one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. Here's one more rhythm with eighth rest to try. Take a look at it, see if you can figure out what's happening, and then we'll try it together. 
Get your hands in position to clap and count with me. Here's the empty measure. Ready, go. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. Good job. Now before we go on, is there another way we could have drawn this beat to make it still sound the same? That's right. We could have just drawn with a quarter rest. It would sound the exact same as before with two eighth rests. What about in this beat? Is there anything we could have drawn in there to give us the same sound? That's right. We could have just used two beamed eighth notes instead. What about in this beat? That's right. That's another place we could have used a quarter rest instead. And the rhythm would have sounded the exact same as before. Now, one more rhythm we need to look at before we take the rhythm challenge is the dotted quarter note. You might remember this rhythm from Ode to Joy. We had ba, ba, ba in that piece that we learned. Now, what we didn't talk about is that a dotted quarter note takes up exactly one and a half beats. Or maybe we did say that. But now that you know how to count a subdivided beat, it will make even more sense. We have one and, then because of this dot, it extends halfway into beat two. So we say two without doing anything because this note is still going. And then on the and of two, we have a note to clap. So it would sound like this, one and two and. You have to extend this all the way through two, and then on the and we clap. Let's try just clapping this measure together. Can you count the beat with me? Ready, go. One and two and. One more time. Ready, go. One and two and. Now let's try this full line, these two measures of rhythm with the repeat. Count the empty measure with me. Ready, go. One and two and 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 great you're ready for the rhythm challenge all right here's your first rhythm challenge for this what you're going to do is take a look at all the notes and try to clap the rhythm while you count the subdivided beat out loud. You're going to do it by yourself without my help. Then once you've tried it, I'll show you the correct answer and you can check and see how you did. Okay, so go for it. Try to clap this rhythm while you count the subdivided beat. All right, here's the correct answer. It should sound like this. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. How'd you do? If you got it right, then let's go on. Otherwise, you can always rewind and try it again. Here's your next rhythm challenge. Give it a try on your own and then I'll show you the correct answer. Here's what it's supposed to sound like. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. Here's your next challenge. Give it a try. Here's what it sounds like. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. Here's your next rhythm challenge. Give it a try.
Here's the answer. We have one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. Great job today learning how to count a subdivided beat so you could rock on today's rhythm challenge. For more advanced practice with eighth rest, dotted quarter notes, and our other rhythms, you can download the materials for this lesson from our website. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time. I'm tired. Everybody take a rest. Huh? Hey, hey, what are you guys doing? You're taking all the eighth rests. Uh, you did say everybody take a rest. Oh, I get it. I suppose I did. Well, there's no rest for the weary. I'll take note of that. Hey, 